Hi, this is Dan Kirkbright, and welcome back to another Coeur d'Alene School District technology tutorial. So sometimes when you go to the App Store, when you're in District, and you haven't authenticated to the web filter, you'll see this message, cannot connect to the App Store. So what I need to do is I'll follow the instructions to get authenticated to the web filter. And that means logging in using your district credentials to the web filter so that you can access pages that you have the rights to access. So for example, on the screen here, I've gone to a web page that I know is blocked for students, but not for staff. When I get to that page, I realize, hey, I've been blocked from it, but I shouldn't be. And I'll look up here in the left-hand corner, and there's a message that says, currently logged in as unknown user. And then in parentheses next to it, not you. I'm going to click on that not you button. And when I do, it's going to prompt me to log in. Here, I'm going to use my district credentials, my same username and password that I used to log into my computer and email. And once I've put those in, I'm going to click on the login button. And now that I've logged in as myself, I have access to a website that students wouldn't have access to. Now in order for me to check and see if I'm logged into it, I'm going to go also to a page that I know is blocked for everyone. So we're going to go to Facebook. So if I go to a page and I see this sign that I'm blocked, and I look up here, I can tell that I'm logged into the filter because it has my username. So I'm signed in as D. Kirkbride to the web filter. And so I look here and I say, okay, so this is a page that is blocked for everybody, staff, students. And if this is a page that I feel like is something that I need for class, that I need to be able to pull up during class and use with my students, then I'm going to send a message to techrepair at cdaschools.org with the URL and the purpose and just asking for it to be unblocked if possible and then we will take a look at it and see if that's something that we want to unblock and uh, get back to you as soon as possible. So once I see iTunes come up I can now navigate back to the App Store and at first it looks like it might not have worked but if I wait a second or if I tap on the featured button and give it a, mi a minute then it will connect to the App Store and now I can run any updates or download any apps that I would like to download. This will work on any school district issued iOS devices, so any school district iPads, as well as any of any personal iOS devices. So if you have a personal iPad that you're using on the BYOD network or if you have your uh, iPhone and you're using that on the BYOD network, this process will remain the same. You'll be able to get to the App Store and download apps on our network. Thanks. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me an email at dkirkbride at cdaschools.org. Thanks.